A few years ago, I took a gamble with my career, so to speak. I switched from being a lawyer to faith-based work as a pastor. On the surface, it might have seemed like quite a strange decision. I had just spent seven years training and studying for the practice of law. And just when things were settling down, I was making a change. I have often thought back to that time, to the way I was feeling. It's not that I hated the law or the study of law or the practice of law. I actually found it quite interesting. But something just seemed to be missing. Something just didn't feel right. Now the more practical among you would say, hey Dishan, work and career, it's not just about feelings. And there are a lot less idealistic, less romantic things to consider here. And if you think that way, you would be absolutely right. But the truth is, Regardless of what you want to do as work or what you want to do with your career, we all want to do something meaningful with our lives. We all want to do work that truly matters, things that have long-term significance. Sure, we all have to pay the bills, but the truth is all of us want to do things that we feel passionate about, work that matters to us, work that motivates us, work that we feel called to, work that feels like we were meant to be doing this. So this is the question I want to pose to you. Is what you do right now, is it a job? Or is it a career? Or is it a calling? So let's break this down. If what you do right now is just a job, you do it just because you have to. You do it for the paycheck. And ironically, you look forward to time away from the job. If you do it as a career, that's slightly better because you're not just doing it for the money. Money isn't the primary motivation. You invest in your work and you have an ambition to be successful. But if you do your work as a calling, the work is an end in itself. You find joy and meaning just in doing the work. You find it rewarding because it contributes to the greater good and also draws on your personal strengths. You don't do it for external rewards, just the work in itself is purposeful and meaningful. So I want to leave you with three thoughts as you navigate the opportunities that come to you as a leader and figure out what will be the most meaningful to you. Firstly, it doesn't matter what type of job you have right now. It doesn't have any effect on whether you view your job as a job, a career or a calling. There are doctors out there who view what they do as a job and janitors who view what they do as a calling. Secondly, those who view their work as a calling generally spend more passion and time on their work and in turn, end up being more successful. It turns out that actually thinking that what you do matters makes you better at what you do. Go figure. Alternatively, if you are unhappy at work or you feel that your work has no long-term purpose or meaning, you'll generally not be very good at what you do or worse, you won't be working to your potential. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to change your job but it does mean that you might have to change your mindset. Thirdly, and this is something that's really worked for me, try and connect what you do, even the unenjoyable bits, to your personal goals and vision, and automatically everything will become more purposeful and more meaningful. So these are just some thoughts for you to mull over as we figure out together how to live the most purposeful lives we can and lead people well. As always, if you enjoy videos about leadership, and especially where leadership needs purpose and meaning, share this video around and subscribe to this channel. God bless you.